Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel Spider-Man Remastered video. And today, what I got for you guys here is a really exciting video. I'm going to be giving you guys my honest thoughts, my hands-on impression, and overall review for Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for the PC. Special thank you to PlayStation Canada for sending over a review code of the game. And as well, if you're looking forward to this game, if you can't wait to jump in and try out Spider-Man on the PC this Friday, well, then scroll down right now hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement with me, and let's get this video to 1500 likes. How about it? And with that being said, let's jump into this. So obviously there's a lot to look forward to with Spider-Man dropping on PC, more so than anything, the fact that a bunch of new people are gonna be able to get their chance to jump into this game for the very first time. And I must say for transparency's sake that I had a bit of a tumultuous road up until now with Marvel Spider-Man on the PC, and I was running into a couple of issues myself. Initially when I had gotten my code, there were a bunch of issues that I was running into into, namely that when I plugged in my controller, it was causing the game to completely freeze or move in slow motion, and it wasn't until I started moving my mouse and made it so that it was the mouse and keyboard input that the game started working again. There were several performance issues that I was running into as well, and I know some people might think, well, hey, Caboose, you maybe just don't have a rig for this game, and I don't think that that's the case. I got a 3070 in there, I got an AMD 3700, I got plenty of cooling in there as well, lots of fans, liquid cooling, the whole nine yards. 32 two gigs of RAM, everything. The bells and whistles are in my PC. So I was pretty confident that I was gonna be able to run this game at very high settings. And I wasn't at first, but just a few days later, and mind you, I had this review code for about a week now, a patch was put in and I was able to have a much smoother experience with Marvel Spider-Man. And since then, I've been able to run this game at very high settings with ray tracing on and get close to 60 FPS. And with ray tracing off, get almost 100 FPS and it looks glorious. Obviously there's a lot that you can tinker with here in the settings. And there's another thing that I must be transparent about that when I have made this video and I'm recording this review, additional settings have been added. So when you get your hands on this game, you're gonna see some additional settings specifically for ray tracing and you'll have a little more control over that which is definitely gonna help with your performance far and away though my favorite additional setting that's added for the PC experience is increasing or even if you want decreasing your FOV oh my goodness is this amazing funny enough adjusting the FOV I finally learned why older spider-man games feel like the web swinging is a little faster as it turns out a lot of that has to do with how close the camera is to spider-man while swinging because if you pull that fov back and you start roaming around the city and start going as quick as you can web zipping around using those perch launches all of that you're gonna start feeling the need for speed and sometimes i even went really fast so much so that the city wasn't loading in time i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i definitely had to slow it down just a little bit because sometimes textures weren't popping in and the game was like just just wait one second for me and listen you don't really need me to sit here and gawk about how good this game looks because you already know that it looked incredible on the PlayStation 4 it looks even better when they remastered it for the PlayStation 5 but the single best thing about having it on PC now is getting to see these cutscenes getting to play this game at an uncapped frame rate. I wish that I could consistently get it to run at like 90 FPS, but I for the most part stayed above 60 and during cutscenes, like I said, it's well over 100 and it's crispy. Cranking up those weather effects and the level of detail that you can add in there, obviously the upscaling methods that are available too from Nvidia, Everything here looks fantastic. There are definitely some moments in this game that you're gonna be able to re-experience if you're jumping into PC after having already played it on the PlayStation 5. And if you have a beefy computer, well, let me just tell you that the best place to play Marvel Spider-Man Remastered is on your computer. And before anybody types the comment, even though somebody's probably already done it by this point, let me just answer the biggest question that's on everyone's mind. A lot of people commented on it when I put up that video about the minimum PC requirements. Yeah. Yes, you can use your Xbox controller on your PC and play Marvel Spider-Man with it. But if you don't have any controllers for any consoles and you got this game on PC, let me just highly recommend that you get a PS5 controller so that you can experience and try out what haptic feedback 
and adaptive triggers is like. I've never been one to play sides in the console wars, but I've always, I'll be honest, I've preferred Xbox controllers. I like having the split on the left analog and the right analog stick, but there's no argument. You literally can't even begin to create and formulate an argument about which controller is better between the Xbox One controller and the PlayStation 5 controller, because haptic feedback is a game changer, literally. That being said though, I know there's a lot of PC purists out there who are gonna wanna try this game out on mouse and keyboard, and let me just say I dabbled in that as well. I'm not a mouse and key type of guy, but oh man, it is fun playing on mouse and keyboard in Marvel Spider-Man. You just get a lot more control that way when you're web swinging around, especially having the increased sensitivity using your mouse, and when you're in combat, it allows you to flip around and turn around on a dime. Another great thing about using a mouse and keyboard is that you can remap all your buttons, so if you want to change some things up to make it more convenient for you, that's available. If I had the dexterity for it, if I grew up kind of playing PC games and using a mouse and keyboard, then I might have invested more time into this, but I'm just not good enough. When I'm in a crowd of enemies and I'm fighting a whole bunch of them, I get completely confused. So if you're really good at that, more power to you. And I don't have one, but I know a lot of people are gonna be very excited to try this game out on the Steam Deck and it is Steam Deck verified. I don't know what performance is like there. I don't know how it plays, but if it does run smoothly, then oh man, that is awesome. Being able to play Marvel Spider-Man on the go or just laying in bed, what an incredible experience that must be. I envy every single one of you out there who has a Steam Deck. The last thing that I'll mention, there is the ultra wide mode. I do have three monitors, but I couldn't get this game to quite look the way I wanted it to. So again, I'll envy the people out there who have those ultra wide monitors and can try this game out in that format. It must be pure eye candy. All in all, I love this game. I have sung the praises of it over the years. It is one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely in my top three favorite superhero games ever made. And as I mentioned on the top of the video, the single best thing about this PC port existing is the fact that more people are gonna be able to play this game now and be able to experience it for the first time or for some of them out there like myself, re-experience it with all the additional options that are available through playing the game on PC. I did have some issues at first and some of them were resolved, but I still do wish that I can get the game at a fairly consistent 60 FPS with ray tracing on. Maybe they'll end up getting it to that point, but I'd be lying to you guys if I said that I wasn't satisfied with my time playing this game again on PC. A huge thanks once again to PlayStation Canada for sending me this code. I'm gonna give Marvel Spider-Man Remastered on the PC a nine out of 10. And there you have it. That is my review, my thoughts on Marvel Spider-Man for the PC. What say you guys? Are you looking forward to the game? Can you not wait to jump in? What are you most excited about in terms of trying this game out on the PC? Sound off with your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed my review, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel. Or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.